roll, guys! Today is gonna be another great day at the Matsui. It's almost time for the ramen bobbin to start. One of my personal faves! Let's check it out! First one to find five items in their ramen wins! Did you guys see those crickets? They're all in my gear. I can't even handle it. They are beyond creepy. During the ramen bobbin competition, I looked down and I was covered in them. Almost like someone. No, it can't be. Someone totally printed crickets in my gear. Is this really Top's life week or something? Because I didn't get the memo, but too many crazy things keep happening to me. Oh, oh I know exactly who did this and why they did it. It's all because Sensei invited me to go on a special assignment as part of the teriyaki takedown. And he told me to come to the dojo this afternoon so he can let me in the latest shinobi intel. When the other recruits found out about it, they didn't take it so well. I told Kick and I told Kai, two friends from the dojo, all about my number one feel in life. And they totally use it against me. Ugh. They're so jumpy and you never just never know where they're gonna go next. This needs to be specially clean. There could be one hiding in the armpit or something. I'll deal with that later. Oh man, urgent message from Sensei. Whew. I thought the teriyaki had done something awful, but false alarm. Sensei just wanted to remind me to pick up today's snack for the recruit's karate practice. Glad he reminded me. With that whole quicker catastrophe, I totally forgot I was in charge of bringing the food. What am I gonna do? I don't have time to make anything. Think, Chop. What can we eat? Of course. I know the perfect snack. I'll just use my skills to cut up some apple slices. They don't call me Chop for nothing. Chef Moe Moto at your service. I'll have this done in no time. You know what? I'm thinking they don't deserve any apples. They'll just have to suffer through their snack attack at practice since they play that cricket prank on me. You can help me get all these apples bagged up. Raise your hands. Great teamwork guys! This will be your perfect snack. And Kick and Kai are going to regret messing with me when they don't have anything to eat. It's almost time for karate practice. I gotta get going ASAP. Whoa! My ninja com is blowing up! It's probably just Sensei telling me to hurry. Yup! Urgent message from Sensei again. Konnichiwa. 
Your hard work and training is showing that you are getting closer to becoming a true ninja warrior. But you are not finished yet. You must next master the art of forgiveness. A true ninja warrior must forgive others and never allow bitterness into their hearts. In the book of Genesis, we learn that we should take off bitterness and put on forgiveness. There was a man named Esau who had a twin brother named Jacob. Since Esau was born first, he was supposed to get everything their father owned. When it came time for their father Isaac to give his inheritance, Jacob, the younger brother, came up with a plan to trick their father. While Esau was out hunting, Jacob dressed up like his brother and tricked their father into giving him all of the inheritance that belonged to Esau. When Esau came back and saw what had happened, he was so angry. His own brother had taken what was rightfully his. Esau made it clear that he wanted to kill his brother Jacob. Realizing what he had done, Jacob ran away in fear for his life. Esau and Jacob spent years and years apart until one day Jacob sent him a message wanting to say hi. Esau agreed to meet Jacob and sent a message back saying that he would be bringing 400 men with him. This made Jacob scared and worried. He hadn't seen Esau since he had stolen from him and tricked their father. Jacob was sure that Esau was still bitter and was planning an attack. When Esau arrived, he ran to see his brother and hugged him. Esau told Jacob that he wasn't angry. Esau had already forgiven Jacob for all that he had done and wasn't bitter at all. Even though Jacob had done wrong things by tricking Isaac and stealing Esau's blessing, Esau chose to forgive him instead of being bitter. To become a ninja warrior, you must learn to take off bitterness and put on forgiveness. Man, Jacob did a lot of those tricky things to his brother. If I were in Esau's shoes, I would have wanted to chase Jacob down and totally make him pay for what he had done. But being angry and bitter at each other didn't work out so well for those brothers. They miss out on so much of each other's lives. It's cool how they eventually stopped being mad and totally forgave each other. So I guess I need to do the same thing. I don't need to be bitter toward Kick and Kai. I really should forgive them for today's cricket catastrophe. Keeping their apples and making them suffer through a major snack attack at karate practice just wouldn't be right. Mm. They'll be super hangry. You know, hungry and angry all mixed into one. I've been there before and that's not a fun place to be. I just let it go. Even if they've done something that made me frustrated. There. Apples for everyone and the recruits are officially forgiven. Whoa. Master Nun and Master Chuck just sent me about a million messages. Something must be going on. Hey Chuck, you don't look so happy. You know what Nun, I am not. Cup of noodles? I thought you didn't like that stuff. Don't you say something like, Cup of noodles isn't real ramen noodles? That's exactly what I say, Nun. Well then, what are you doing? I'm glad you asked. Okay, so Jake, you know the guy who practices my moves with me. Well, he saw that my mom had left some of her famous Chucky Special Ramen Bowl out for me to eat. And then, get this, he just picks up the bowl and eats all of it. It was mine, not his. I was so hungry, and that ramen was all I had. Plus, it's my favorite. They don't call it famous Chucky Special Ramen Bowl for nothing. That's rough, Chuck. So, now the noodles? Yep. This is what I'm left with. Just a stinking cup of noodles. It's nothing like what my mom makes. I think I'd rather go hungry and starve than eat this junk. But Chuck, you have to eat before we do our daily practices. I can't go on, nun. You must do the practice without me. Hopefully you'll be able to keep up without my guidance. Why don't you just forgive Jake, eat the cup of noodles, and let's go do our ninja moves. Besides, I need help with the penguin. But I just can't forgive him, ever. Chuck, this is not going to end well. 
if you don't forgive Jake, then you're not gonna eat the noodles. And if you don't eat the noodles, then you're not gonna practice. And if you don't practice, you might lose your title and then I'm gonna have to do all of this solo. Oh, no, and you're right. I mean, if I stay bitter and don't forgive Jake, that sequence of events could be the end of Nun and Chuck as we know it. You know what? I'm gonna forgive Jake, scarf down these noodles, then let's practice. Sounds great. While you eat that, I'm gonna enjoy this thermos that your mom gave me of someone famous ramen noodles. Unless you'd wanna trade. Wait, did my mom give you some of her famous Chucky special ramen bowl? Yes, please. Oh, thank you so much, Nun. Anytime. Those guys really are the masters of every single habit Sensei wants us to put on. Showing forgiveness won't always be easy. Showing forgiveness won't always be easy, especially when someone does something to make us mad. But staying bitter doesn't help anything. Two messages in one day? Something serious must be going on. Chop. Urgent Shinobi Intelligence has just come in. Teriyaki Takedown is in effect. Sounds like I gotta go get to the dojo stat. Yes! It's finally time! After working so hard to take off all my bad habits and replacing them with new ones, I'm gonna be Hoyo, a real ninja! Those teriyakis are going down. See you guys soon! <laughs>